right guys, today I'm, I'm fishing some uh, lake structure and what I'm looking for today, uh, we're, we're actually on Wilson Lake in Alabama and I'm looking for some structure within this lake, not cover as much as structure. On my, my maps I've got on my GPS here, it shows a, a, a definitive like point down in this area here. This is where I, now this is a, a pretty good distance. I drifted it yesterday and caught a couple fish out of it, but I'm going to come up here on this point and I'm going to drift this point on both sides of this point and see if I can get something that has moved up on one of these transitions. We're going to go set up on it right now and hope for a big one. Alright guys, I'm going to try to get lined up on this, this drop. Um, I'm not even sure how much of a drop it is, but it is a ledge that comes down and has a, a, a change in the contour of the bottom. So I'm going to try to get on it right now. We're at 46 foot of water. And if I go to my right, we should be able to uh, tell a difference in depth. And when we do that, we can kind of line us up and see how true this is. Uh, and then follow this, this path easily while we drift. The wind's blowing in the right direction for us. So uh, what I'll have to do is stick my trolling motor into the wind and let the wind push me, but keep my trolling motor uh, to keep me at the proper speed. What that speed is right now, I don't know, but we're fixing to find out. All right, now we just come up on it, come up on this ledge. It was 47. Now we're on about 40. We're going to stay. We're going to zigzag back and forth on this drop or ledge, whatever this is. See if we can uh, come up with it. Well, we got two sides to this. Yeah, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Shouldn't be a lot of pressure out here at all. Okay, let's just hope they're out here. Let's get set up. All right, guys, we, we've got this got set up on this ledge, and we're going to start working it down through here. We already see a lot of bait fish in the facility, so hopefully the the cats will be hanging around too. All right, we're going to drift right down this ledge using my trolling motor to keep me kind of on course. Uh, and we're going to drag uh, a couple baits down this ledge and we're going to suspend a couple baits around this ledge and we'll see which one does the best. Right on the point of that ledge. Look right here. We come around that point. And whammo. I don't think he's all that big, but these changes in contour are always a good spot to, to look for catfish in these lakes. This fish. I want to see uh, where I'm at. I don't want to lose course here. Yeah, we're still good. Yeah, you want to take care of these fish. I mean, these, these big old fish, this is not a real huge one, but you don't get an opportunity. Alright. 
It's a nice little fish, and uh, that's what you can find on these ledges and uh, changes in contour in the middle of these lakes. With no problem. This, this particular method of fishing is the boat control. You've got to have boat control. And with these new new depth finders with the GPS and and hot maps or, or uh, topographical maps they have it makes it a lot easier to find and pinpoint these and actually stay on on course. You know, without these, I mean, you got the depth change and then you can kind of watch as it comes up in 40 foot and back into 47 and back and forth. That's one way you can do it when you didn't have this uh, technology. But all right, today I'm using my controlling motor along with the wind. The wind's pushing me in the direction I want to go, but now I've come around this point and I, I've got to have my boat control, so I'm using my controlling motor with the wind to keep me on the ledge. Now the, the wind is blowing me off the ledge, so I got to keep keep kind of going to the right to stay up on that ledge. As you know, like I said, the wind blows me off, I pull it back on. Uh, so a lot of times with boat control, you can use the wind to your advantage uh, because I. Was, I have adapted myself to using my trolling motor and wind together. Probably a little bit more pain uh, than a drift sock. I don't know for a fact, but it's the way I feel like I need to control the boat on the ledge. All right, a lot of you guys have asked me before how fast I pull a drift. Uh, today it, it looks like it is 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0 0.4. It's kind of varying in between, I guess, the wind and my adjustments but about 0.3 on average is probably what I'm pulling today and that's that's kind of average on on most lakes I think working up that point and you can actually see right there where I hit the fish hit the one fish oh there's one right there oh, something just hit what's happening oh there he goes there he goes is he going to take it? All right. Now, I don't know why we missed it, but I'm going to reel it up. Uh, one, one thing I could say that why we might have missed it, I don't know for a fact, but uh, one reason may be I might have left a scale on the hook, on the tip of the hook. Or another reason, when he first hit it, sometimes that bait will spin and the bait will hook back into the hook, hook itself. And that's the suspicion I've got, that it's hooked back into the hook, uh, the bait. The hook has hooked back into the bait itself. But we're going to see real quick. Nope. No, there's nothing wrong with that piece of bait. I don't know why that fish didn't get hooked. I don't know if he had the whole bait in his mouth. That may have been in it. Sometimes you just don't know, guys. You can't catch them all. Sometimes there's a reason why you don't catch them, like I just talked about. And sometimes there's not a reason. But we'll finish up this little drift we got going on here and catch us another one or two. Hopefully. All right. Just like a video game, guys, with this new technology, you can see my, my path that I've went around that point, underwater point and ledge, all using my little, I don't even know what you call it here. I don't even know what you call it here, but this is my remote control for my trolling motor. So I just control it left, right, and the speed, along with my Lowrance uh, mapping. And it's just like a, a video game. 